One Direction responds to Zayn leaving the group, is Taylor Swift dating a famous DJ, and more on today's Be Your Selfie show. By the way, this is how I reacted to the huge Zayn Malik news on March 25th. The struggle is real. So by now, you know that Zayn Malik was the first person to leave One Direction just to be a normal 22-year-old. One Direction posted the official announcement on their Facebook page, and we kind of saw this coming after he left the tour last week and that cheating scandal, and on the Today Show back in November when he wasn't there. It really seems like the pressure of fame just got to him. And of course, the internet just died over the news and went crazy with hashtags like hashtag replace Zayn, what? Well, the fellas of 1D have now broken their silence and they've responded to the big news since, you know, they had their first concert without Zayn in Jakarta, so they kind of had to address it. And there's this video going around on the internet where Harry he's actually crying during the concert. And many people believe that this is due to the fact that Zayn's gone and it's their first concert without him. I feel for Harry there, that video! Harry also tweeted about the odd day that will go down in history with some love. Liam, on the other hand, decided to go with a bit of humor, posting a throwback photo of himself to just lighten the mood. Niall, of course, thanked fans for all of their support and says they'll still put on an amazing tour. And Zayn himself Instagrammed that it was the greatest five years of his life. Huge props to Zayn for making a big life change that he knew would not be easy at all. He's gotten so much attention and flack for this, probably unwanted, but he did it to better himself and his life, and to break away from one of the most successful fivesomes ever takes some courage. Insta OMG. Today's Insta OMG is from Kendall Jenner's Instagram. It's their Vogue photo shoot, her and Justin Bieber. And you know what? They don't look terrible together. Also, I would like to note that Rob Kardashian has followed up his disturbing Kim K Gone Girl Instagram with another one, and I have no idea what to make of this. Taylor Swift was spotted hanging out with Calvin Harris in Nashville in matching outfits. And I guess they also flirted supposedly at the Brit Awards. And of course they hung out in Vegas with Ellie Goulding and Selena Gomez when he was DJing there. So of course people think they're dating, but would she really date Ellie's ex? No, they're probably just making music together. And he's dated a lot of singers like Rita Ora and I just don't see Taylor wanting to put herself on the list. Riri, Bad Gal, has dropped a brand new single from her upcoming R8 album, and it's called BBHM. M, and she's not making it easy for you to listen to. You have to download the Dub Smash app. Nice product integration there, I see what you did. But she did post this video to Instagram explaining what BBHMM means. The name of this piece is called My Bitch Better Have My Money. Bitch Better Have My Money. King Witch of the Day, I'm happy to report on this lovely Thursday, is Flox Regalo, who sent me a picture on Snapchat. I love your name, by the way, and I love this pic, and you use the hashtag, hashtag King Mitch, which is totally acceptable and awesome. Thank you so much. I want to know down below if you like how the other 1D guys reacted and responded to this big Zayn news, and are you holding it together? Please let me know. And if you missed Monday's show, you can just click this box right here to catch up on it. Tell your friends, make sure that they're all subscribed to Misty Kingwood's channel, and I'll see you guys soon.